Can you hear me? Is my audio doing okay? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, we up? can hear you. We yeah, can thank hear you, you, Sir Fadi. Okay, so um, it's currently 9.01 here in the Philippines. Um, I won't be dragging this uh, any longer. Um, we will be just doing a short opening. And so there we go. We are uh, Erudite Reliability Services, OPC. And uh, all right. So more are coming in, thankfully. And um, I hope uh, everyone is feeling energized for the day. So we provide maintenance and reliability consult consulting and training services to industries of all types. Mm. So this is our journey starting from 2019, where we hold our uh, trainings, our face-to-face -face trainings. And um, during, after that, in light of the pandemic, um, we resorted to doing virtual inst uh, instructed lead trainings. And so this is our journey from um, 2020 to 2020. One or 2022. So, um, in order to get notified uh, with our um, news, with our updated news, um, you can always go through our social media pages. Um, just simply search Erudite Reliability Services OPC and um, follow us there to get more updates about our upcoming courses and webinars. Right. So um, without further ad ado, I would uh, once again would like to welcome you to our um, free webinar, Effective Problem Solving Methodology by Apollo Root Cause Analysis RC Pro. Um, today's speaker is Fadi Elias Rahal. Yeah, so kindly click on Mars. So he is a, as an investigator, Fadi had led countless RCA incident investigations with Fortune 500 companies, resulting in millions of dollars in cost savings. Areas include machine and plant sh shutdown, machine reliability, EHS incidents, fire and explosion, employee productivity, product delivery on time and on budget, and over budget project execution, product sourcing and purchasing, scrap and rework, and customer dissatisfaction. He is the president of Apollonian Publications LLC, Master Apollo RCA Facilitator, Master Black Belt from General Electric, Master of Engineering, Mechanical Engineer from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. He trained more than 250 RCA facilitator training sessions globally and has more than 10,000 students trained globally from leading companies and so on. All right, so um, once again, let's give a round of applause. Let's all welcome <laughs> Sir Fadi Elias. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank you. Okay, well, thank you everyone uh, for allowing me to be with you here. This is, uh, this is your session more than mine. Uh, my point is uh, please ask questions and I'll share with you the format here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and share my entire screen. In that way, uh, I don't have to worry about what's, what am I sharing or not sharing. Um, so, so let me share with you what we're going to do here for the next, uh, uh, for the next uh, hour or so. So I'm going to go ahead and give an introduction about uh, Apollo RC and reality charting. And I'm going to stop and allow you to ask questions. So any time you have a question, please type it. Type it in the chat section. We'll collect them and we'll take a, a, a break to answer them all. Uh, my objective is two, two folds. One, to share with you what is Apollo RCA and reality charting, but also I wanna demo the software for you. I wanna show you how easy it is to perform what we call root cause analysis. Um, so as we get started, uh, if I can get just a check from anyone, do you see my screen, please?
Anyone? Yes. Can I just get? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, so I don't want to dig deep into my introduction here. Uh, uh, however, uh, this is my official name, my contact, my phone number. Uh, kindly, if uh, I can be of further help regarding answering any questions on what is Apollo RCA, what is reality charting, by all means, please uh, get hold of me uh, through email, through WhatsApp, uh, at whatever is easier for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, at the highest level, if you want to be successful at what you do every day, you're going to have to be a good problem solver. And I have no doubt that you are. You are a good problem solver. I'll give you an example. If you encounter a fire in front of you, you work on putting that fire out. If the customer calls you and says, hey, you shipped me the wrong product, you say, let me ship you the right one. If your employee gets injured, you take care of them. However, if you want to be one of the best problem solver out there, as, as the training suggests, an effective problem solver, you also have to come back and say to yourself, what do I need to do to make sure that fire never happens again in my facility? What do I need to do to make sure I never ship that wrong product to the customer to begin with? What do I need to make sure to avoid this specific injury in the future? So problem solving is two steps. The first one is, solving the problem or resolving it. And then the second step is working to make sure you eliminate and prevent it. And we are here to talk about elimination and prevention. What is the skills and the knowledge you need in order for you to eliminate and prevent problems? In specific, we're gonna talk about Apollo RCA and reality charting or RC Pro. So if you are going to be a successful facilitators, or an investigator. There's different meaning to those terms, but they really accomplish the same thing. Basically, what are the knowledge and the skills you need to have to lead a team to perform root cause investigation or root cause analysis? So, so think about it this way. You have events in your facility. They're major, machine shut down, customer complaint, shipping the wrong product, manufacturing defects, loss of money. You, they all have the same, the same characteristic. And what you need to do is have the knowledge on how do I do this thing called cause and effect chart? How do I build this thing called cause and effect chart to help me eliminate all of these problems? So once you understand the knowledge, then you can easily apply it. You can easily apply the skills. And in this case, I'm gonna show you uh, reality charting or RC Pro as in reality charting professional. How do I take this knowledge relative to performing root cause analysis and document it and be more effective at presenting it or coming up with solutions in order for me to prevent it from happening again? So what is Apollo RCA? Apollo RCA is a principle-based approach, meaning it doesn't matter who uses it. If you apply it the way it's designed, the way it was made and the way we, we teach it, the result should be effective. And it has these four steps, define the problem, create the chart, come up with solution and implement them. They seem to be very easy and, and they should be. Uh, and by the way, uh, every participant on, on this session, you're entitled to download our free book uh, by our founder, uh, Dean Gano, who created the methodology uh, almost 40 years ago. So the methodology never changed. You'll get that book, you read it, and it will tell you more about the details of what is Apollo RCA. But at the end of the day, you can define the problem. Everybody can. Creating a chart is where the skills needed. So if you want to develop your skills, you need to develop the best skills you can on how do you create this thing called cause and effect chart. And if you download that book and read it, and if you do get trained by us, then you will develop your, those skills. Once you create the cause and effect chart, the rest of it is easy. Coming up with solutions, implementing them, tracking them, that happens very quickly. So when you talk about Apollo RCA, this is it. It never changes. It's been like that for 40 years. The, the methodology does not change. Having said that, 
what about the software? Well, reality chart in RC Pro does change. That's the technology piece. That's the tool that we give you to be to make you more productive at performing root cause analysis. And the outcome of any cause and effect chart, it should look something like this. This is the skills you need in order for you to be an effective problem solver. You're going to have to find a way to take causes from every person on a team who's helping you perform the analysis and build a chart that looks something like that. And it needs to be easy. So once you understand Apollo RCA principle of causation, and once you understand how the software works, then you'll be able to create a cause and effect chart that looks something like this. For any of you that thinks of 5Y or fishbone or team meetings or brainstorming, that's fine. Those are great skills to have. But when you talk about a methodology like Apollo RCA, it has stronger foundation and, and it's proven and you can get to the root cause and eventually the corrective action more effectively than many of the other tools that I just mentioned. So, so that's it for relative to the discussion on what is Apollo RCA. Uh, I don't know if we already have any questions. Uh, if we have, Patricia, maybe you can go ahead and, and ask the questions, please. Did we receive any questions? Uh, sir, currently there are no questions on the chat section. Okay, if that's the case, maybe we'll, I will open it up. Anyone have any question you can ask immediately right now? We'll be more than happy to answer it. Okay, those are great questions. That's fine. So what discipline or companies uh, Apollo RCA applies to? Um, the great news is it applies to anything and everything. It's a way of thinking. Once you understand how this Apollo RCA works, once you understand how these causes come together to create the cause and effect chart, you can apply it to anything and everything. And I mean that, meaning personally and professionally. It's the same way, the same thinking. Uh, whether you're an engineer or in, in working in heavy machinery, whether you're working in an IT on servers, whether you're shipping parts, whether you're just issuing invoices or purchase orders, it's the same technique to help you uh, understand those problems and eliminate any and all problems you have. Um, what skills do I need to be able to perform this? Well, you just have to be a good thinker, first of all. You have to be able to, to, to learn something new, but you don't have to have any skills because the methodology by itself, once you understand it, that's all what you need. How to define the problem? how to come up with causes and build a chart, how to come up with corrective actions, which one of them is effective uh, and which ones you're gonna implement. Those are all encompassing in the Apollo RCA and reality charting software. Okay, let's see. Um, Fadi, there is another question. Um, okay, Go ahead. We can take one more. Uh, is this only applies to a people manager? Absolutely not. Again, let me ask you a question. Who does not have problems? Who? The answer is everybody has problems. Whether you're a manager, whether you're a participant, whether you're a mechanic, whether you're working at the shipping dock, it doesn't matter. If you're interested in eliminating your problems, if you're interested in making sure problems do not repeat, this methodology applies for you and you can, you can use it. And very briefly, and we'll move on. Differences between Apollo RCA to other RCA tools. It's, it's, it's too big of a question for me to answer. Um, that's maybe something you want to do. Uh, maybe something you would like to go out and search. Of course, you know me. I'm very biased to Apollo RCA. The biggest difference, this is a principle-based approach. Meaning, first, you're going to tell me what happened. Then you're going to show me in a cause and effect chart what happened. And I'm going to show you that here in an example. And third, you're gonna to prove to me this is that's what happened uh, with evidence. So you're gonna go find evidence to validate that's what happened. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing again. I'm gonna take you to the next phase of the discussion, basically on the software. These are still static screens, but then I'm gonna turn it into a live discussion and show you how easy it is to create uh, a cause and effect chart. 
So RC Pro is, uh, of course, uh, like many other software, is a cloud-based. It has a database behind it. You log in, and if you have a corporate version, you can buy a single license, but if you have a corporate version, you get to see everybody's analysis. You either initiate a new analysis, or maybe you search for one and then go ahead and initiate the analysis after that. And it follows Apollo RCA. So the first step ideally is define the problem. So the software will take you through, tell me what's the problem. Tell me when did it happen? Tell me where did it happen? Tell, get, tell me the significant. That's basically step one. So you and the team get to define that. Once you're done with the problem definition, you're gonna go to create the cause and effect chart. No one is, is, is the best at creating the cause and effect chart. No one, no one knows the answer. So the answer is first you brainstorm causes. That's how this process works. I start taking causes from each of you and then placing them in the holding area. And once I have them in the holding area, then I start building the cause and effect chart. Uh, and if you use the software as you're doing that, the software is programmed to say, are you, following the Apollo RCA principle of causation. And what it will do, it will keep track of, are you doing it right? Are you doing it wrong? Are you missing certain causes? Did you stop too early? Do you have evidence to validate your analysis? So it's keeping track relative to what is Apollo RCA. And it will come back says, wait, 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 before you conclude you're done with the cause and effect chart, maybe there's a few things you need to fix. So once you fix your cause and effect chart, then you move into solutions. Now you go into every cause and you brainstorm solutions. So even in the solution step, it's also multiple steps, meaning first, tell me what possible solutions you're gonna take. Because by me saying possible, meaning I might implement it, I might not implement it. So once we develop all the possible solutions, then we'll evaluate them against the solution criteria. So if you look here on the far left of, of this presentation, the, the presentation title is Effective Problem Solving. I'm here to tell you effective problem solving must have the following criteria if you are to implement a solution. First, any solution you implement, it must prevent the problem. Think about it this way. If what you're telling me you want to implement at your facility or shop or, or business is not going to eliminate the problem, then what good is it? So it better eliminate the problem. Two, it must be something we can do. Solutions have to be something we can implement. Three, it must meet my goals and objective, meaning it must lower my incident rate, improve my reliability, lower my cost. Uh, it has to have some value to my organization. If your manager says you only have $10,000 to go solve this problem, then it better be within that 10. You cannot come back with a million dollar solution because you don't have the budget to do it. And then the last one is make sure it does not create a new problem. So when it comes to effective problem solving, the two biggest objective is one, eliminate the problem you are given but two, do not create another problem. And again, this is what Apollo RCA is and the software ensures you follow this. So once you're done with brainstorming causes, then you evaluate them against the solution criteria. And the one they pass the solution criteria, the one that we can implement, we have the budget to do, I can do it, meets my goals and objective, eliminates the problem, does not create a new problem, I go ahead and I implement them. And once I implement them, then I can assign an owner and a due date for them to go out and complete them. And if you use the software, you can send emails, you can send notifications, you can do the follow-up all in here. And then at the end is a report. Once you follow these four steps that I mentioned, define the problem, create the chart, come up with solutions, decide which ones to implement them, the, the, the report is already finalized for you. And I'll show you here when we go through an actual live example. It will take all of that, including the cause and effect chart. So you don't have to worry about building it anymore because it's already built. And then it will generate for you 
uh, a report. And of course, here it says export. That's what you'll do. You'll export that report in a form of PDF, Word, uh, PowerPoints, Excel, uh, and then you can uh, share it with management. You could share it with management, share it with your colleague, email it to your vendor, to your customer. Or the data already still here, I could learn from it in my future analysis. So, so that's it for the static portion of the software. Um, again, let's go ahead and take uh, another break. Any question, have, uh, did we receive any questions so we can go ahead and answer them? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to go through an example. Uh, you know, it's of course, it's a made up example, but some of you can relate to it. Uh, and I'm going to show you how the software allows you to do all the way from a very simple analysis to an advanced to an expert. Okay, to an advanced to an expert. Um, again, the question comes up again, the difference between Apollo RCA to other RCA tools. Uh, it's not an easy answer, uh, because it, it, you know, it, it takes too long to, to answer it. All I could tell you is there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of methodologies and tools, but there is a difference between a methodology and a tool. And you might want to figure out the difference there. When, if it's a methodology, it means it applies to anything and everything. If it's a tool, it means it only applies to a specific set of conditions you, you're working on. So again, let's go ahead and open it up to anyone on the call. Any other question, feel free to type it in, please. OK. We're going to go ahead and move to the live software because I want to show you how easy it is to perform analysis. Um, similar screen to what you've seen before, except this is the live uh, software here. Of course, um, you're going to see my name in here. But if it was a company version and all of us are in here, you probably see different analysis. So right away, most likely you want to start a new RCA, uh, or you could search others. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and start a new RCA. So I'm going to click on new RCA, right? And and let's just make one up for now. Let's say your manager um, calls you says, Look, uh, yes. Sorry, uh, we, we cannot see your screen. Oh, see, because I'm not sharing. So we'll start all over again. Because I was looking into the chat session to see if anyone asked any questions. OK, how about now? You could see the software. Yep, we see it now. OK, so I'll start again. So most likely, you're going to log in here and say click on new RCA. If you can type, which I know you can, if you can click, which I also know you can, and drag, Type, click, and drag. You can use our software. The software is designed with, 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 with one objective. It needs to be simple. If it's not simple, people are not going to use it. So all you need is be able to type, click, and drag. However, you need to also know Apollo RCA in order for you to know what to do next. So we're going to go ahead and, and do an RCA. Let's say your manager stopped you in the hallway, says, you know, one of our pumps just failed. Well, you could just come in here and you say pump failed. And maybe they told you a little bit more. It says, you know, the pump failed because apparently it's leaking oil. Okay, you just say pump failed because leaking oil. That's it. Now, we only have one software. That's it. One product, one software. However, in this software, there's three different analyses you could do. You could do basic, you can do advanced, and you can do expert. And the difference is very simple. In the basic, you're only going to do the minimum amount required to perform an RCA. In the advanced and expert, you're going to do a lot more if you choose to. And that will depend on the significance of the problem. OK, I mean, if the significance of the problem didn't result in anything, eh, maybe you want to do a basic. But if it resulted in two days of outage and it resulted in a million dollar loss, well, maybe you want to do an advanced and an expert. And by the way, your organization, it doesn't matter where you are, if you are engaged in continuous improvement, you must have what we call trigger criteria, meaning what triggers me to perform a root cause analysis? What are the events 
that are painful for my organization and says, we better do an RCA on. And I'll leave that up to you to define. So, so right now, we're going to go ahead and say pump fail because leaking oil. I'm going to click submit. Right now, I just gave it a title. That's all what I did. I haven't done much yet. So as you could see, the software right away says, OK, I'm going to take you to the problem definition. So I'm going to say pump failed due to seal, to, I'm sorry, to oil leaking. Done. And then the next question is when? When did it happen? Uh, let's say it's 24 January 2023. Actually, for you, because I am 24, for you, it's probably 25 January. Uh, where? You know, let's say it's pump house ABC and a significant, let's say, it resulted in two hours uh, of lost production. I mean, that, that, that seems to be sufficient. That seems to be sufficient. Uh, we require these at a minimum in here. You know, let's say we've lost approximately, let's make it a little bit significant, $50,000 of a loss. You're fine there. You're fine there to proceed. If you want to customize this software, there's a lot of things you can do. You can add customization to nearly every ver every part of this software. But but by definition, this is sufficient. Apollo RCA says when it comes to the problem definition, tell me the what, tell me the when, tell me the where, tell me the significant. And here it is. Here it is. Well, let me take you on a quick tour for a second. When it comes to problem solving, RCA is a team activity, okay? And I need to figure out, you know, part of the team. So maybe I want to go ahead and define who the team members are. By definition, it knows that I'm the one that started it. That means I have to be the facilitator. Otherwise, I could start adding team members. The more you do these, uh, you don't have to add team members 100% because if they've already worked on prior analysis, maybe you already have them and all you have to do is select them. So let's go ahead and select Jessica, make her part of our team because she's going to help us out. You know, Mallory is going to be part of our team. And by the way, I could send a notification from here saying, hey, you've been added to the, to the analysis and they will get, uh, they will get notification. So, Part of the analysis is you have to have a team. Here you are, and I could assign them as, as you know, they're going to help me with the analysis. So here we go with the definition. I'm done with that. Maybe if I want to modify it, if I want to change it, I can. The next step in the problem definition, what Apollo RCA says, okay, now go get me causes that led to this event. So you're going to go to the next step, which is the brainstorming. There's many ways to do that, but by definition, I need causes. So I can open this brainstorming tool. And if any of you is used to 5Y, any of you to cause a different way of thinking, you're really accomplishing the same thing. I like that. So we start brainstorming causes. Let's say seal ruptured. It doesn't matter what order they're in. See, I, I, I'm not smart enough to know what happened. However, I'm smart enough to say, give me causes, and then I'll build a chart to be more effective at this. So one of the causes, seal ruptured. I submit. See, it placed it here in the old. The next one is, there's a hole in the seal. OK, excellent. You put it there. The next one, someone says, oil not contained. OK, here we go. OK. So, so you start brainstorming causes randomly. All right, give me your causes, give me your causes, give me your causes, and we place them here. And by the way, if you do have this software at the corporate level, then all of us, by definition, all of us can be logged in here at the same time, and we can all be brainstorming causes at the same time because it's a live database. It's on the cloud. OK, let's say another cause is uh, shaft vibrating. Okay, shaft vibration. Okay, um, just 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 place it there. It doesn't matter what it is. And then someone says, you know what? The oil was foaming. Okay, oil foaming. And then someone says, well, the oil was getting hot. Oil getting hot. Okay. And then somebody says, well, we saw the oil leaking out of the fill pipe. 
you just type them. Just type them in there, whatever they tell you. Maybe someone is going to say, well, the pump is not being monitored. OK, pump not being monitored. OK, and somebody else says, well, you know what? The pump is not being shut down. It seems like it keeps running and running forever. Pump not being shut down. As you could see, I start brainstorming causes and placing them in the hoarding area. When that process ends, OK, when that process ends, when you've exhausted everyone, says, oh, we're tired, you know, come on, let's go ahead and start building a chart. Now you're ready to build the chart. So let me show you how easy it is to build a chart. Uh, this is not the right answer, but I'm going to show you how easy to connect causes to causes. All I have to do is click, hold, drag it, and release it. Click, hold, drag, and release. Click, hold, drag, and release. This is how I uh, this is how I build a chart. And if I made a mistake, it's okay. I can click on it, drag it, and release it somewhere. You know, connect it somewhere else. And if I totally messed it up, you take, throw it back in the holding area. You go ahead and you throw it in the holding area. You you know so so that's how easy the software is. And once you're building the chart, I'll show you here. It's keeping track. Are you building it to match what we know about Apollo RCA principle of causation? Okay. So now let's try to build the perfect chart. Let's see if we know how to do it. Well, what caused the pump to fail? Pump failed due to oil leaking. What caused that? Well, there was a hole in this seal. Excellent. Anything else caused the pump to fail because the oil leaking? Yes, because the oil not contained. So you place it there. Good job. All right, now you continue. What caused the hole in the seal? You know what? I really don't know. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, we all, all we know there's a hole in the seal, but we don't, okay. Well, then you say, we don't know. We need more information. All right, let's go to the next one. What caused the oil not to be contained? Well, it's not contained because it leaked out of the fill pipe. Okay, I got it. So somehow there's an opening where it's leaking out of it. Okay, good. What caused it to leak out of the fill pipe? Well, because it was foaming and because it was getting hot. Okay, excellent, excellent, good job. And what caused it to foam? Well, it caused it to be foam because the pumps are not being shut down and they're not being monitored across the shifts. So, so you start building a chart that looks something like this. Of course, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do a lot of things in the software. It behaves very easily. All right. Now, I still have two causes here, here. Um, but I don't know where they go yet. Okay, so and if someone says, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think the reason there's a hole in the seal uh, because the seal is ruptured be because there's vibration acting on it. Then you connect them here, bring them here. So now I'm starting to see something that looks like a cause and effect chart. Is it the perfect chart? I don't know. I don't know. And I might never find out, but I'll get very close to it. I'll get very close to it. So let's say we're done. Well, I guess we are done because we don't have any more causes. If we do, we'll continue, but we don't. The next thing is, if you look, we have what we call an integrity check. The integrity check, it's saying, uh-huh, don't wait, wait, you're not done because you, there's some obvious error, obvious issues in the cause and effect chart. You need to fix them. You need to fix them. Now, Early on, I remember if I said there's three levels of analysis. Because I'm in the expert, it's saying all of that. But if I'm in the basic, it's not going to care. You know, in the basic, it's going to say, yeah, you're fine. Maybe you're done. Go ahead and proceed. Go to solution. As you could see, all these things are grayed out. But if I choose, if it's more significant, which it is, and I'm going to do what I call an advanced RCA or maybe even an expert RCA, I probably need to do more work. So let's go ahead and continue. So let's fix a couple of these. First of all, it says, you know, like here, you did not end it appropriately. Yes, so let's so let's run that. So seal ruptured. What caused the seal to rupture? Does anyone know? No, I don't. Okay, then you say more info needed. How about the shaft vibration? Does anyone know why the shaft is, is seeing vibration? 
No, no, I don't think so. We don't know. Okay. Oil getting hot. Yeah, we do know that actually. It's because uh, there's high pressure on it for some reason. So you could say stop and you can type whatever you want to. Okay. Due to pressure reaching over 8 psi. Right. Okay, good. How about the pump not being shut down? Does anyone know why the pumps are not being shut down? No, I don't think so. Okay. How about the pumps not being monitored? Nope, nope. All we know that they're not being monitored. Good. So now I've cleared this violation. The next one is, Paul RC says, you must have action and conditions. I'm not going to get into the detail of this uh, because that's where some training will be required. But at a minimum, you have to have one action and one condition. I'll give you an example. The moment you clicked on join this meeting, you had to click attend this meeting, launch this meeting. The moment you did that, that's an action cause. And also the meeting invite was there, that's a condition cause. Very similar thinking. So let's run that. Hole in the seal, there has to be a condition. Oil not contained, it's probably an action. Seal ruptured, that sounds like an action. Shaft vibration, it has to be condition. Oil leaking out of the fill pipe, that has to be an action. Oil foaming, sounds like a condition. Oil getting hot, sounds like an action. Pumps not being shut down, sounds like an action. Not being monitored, sounds like a condition. Again, so as you could see, the chart is starting to look prettier. I have actions, conditions. I stopped appropriately. Um, and then before you're done, as I mentioned, Apollo RCA is evidence-based approach. The next thing is, let's go get evidence on these. So I'm going to run the evidence. And the question is, hey, how do you know there's a hole in the seal? Well, it's, I see it. It's visual, OK? So you can type it, it's a visual. All right, let's go to the next one. How do you know that the oil is not contained? Well, because there's oil on the floor. Look, see, let me show you this photo uh, because the photo shows oil on the floor. So clearly, clearly that, all right? Let's run them again. Let's continue running that. Okay, how about seal ruptured? How do you know there's a seal ruptured? Okay, well, see ruptured. Again, it's visual, maintenance records, photo. I can even attach files to this if I need to, okay? I could say visual. Um, and if you wanna add another evidence to it, you can. You can add up to three evidence only. However, I wanna say, I wanna add a photo, all right? Or I wanna add a file, right? Uh, let's say there's a maintenance record. Um, I could do that as well. I could do that as well, or I could just leave it general as, as I did. So let's continue. Let me delete this for a second because it will complain about it later. All right, how do you know there's a shaft vibration? And again, there's a computer data. Okay, there's a computer data. And finally, someone says, you know, I really want those records. I need those photos. And okay, so there's many ways to do that. One way, you go to the attachments, and you just upload your files to it, okay? You go wherever you want to, you know, uh, whatever it is, you know, this is a copy of the ebook that you're gonna get, so I can upload it in here, okay? So, what did it do to me? All right. Uh, my computer froze for a second. Maybe there's a bug in the system and we'll fix that. That's why the software continues to be improved. Give it a second, it will come back. I promise you it will come back. So you can attach any type of documents as evidence in the, in the analysis. Come on, I need you to come back. Let me just stop sharing for a second to allow my computer to reset. There we go. I'm gonna share back. Okay. So maybe maybe the sharing process slowed it down. Uh, let's do another check, please. Can you see my screen, please? 
Um, Anyone? What, what we can see, Fadi is just starting to screen share, but there's nothing, it's blank. Okay, so something definitely happened. You don't see the software anymore? No, we don't see it, the software. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let me share. How about now? Yep, we see it now. Okay. So um, I need to check into why, why it, it locked me up parallel to the file. Now, there's another way to do that. I can go to the notes and create a notes. For example, I could say computer data showing vibration levels and alarms. And I could data, add that as a note, right? And then um, when I do that, I can come in here and add that as an evidence because I can link it to a note uh, that talks about computer data. But as you could see, for relative to using a software, it's very simple. It's click, 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 type, drag, click, type, drag, type of deal. There's no programming, no nothing required. So let me go back to the integrity checks. Uh, let me run these very quickly. Uh, how do you know that the oil is leaking out of the fill pipe? It's, uh, it's visual. And as you start using a software, it, it memorizes all this data because it's a database driven. Uh, it, so as you start typing something in there, see, watch, it's going to bring that data. Say, wait a minute, maybe you, you want to use something you've already used in the past. Yep, I want to use that as well. You know, I get to select it from here. Uh, there we go. And then you go into to the others and and so on and so on. So these are basically saying, hey, now you are fixing a chart relative to Apollo RCA. It's a great time to stop because those this is the most complicated step in the methodology. This is the skills you need. When I said in my introduction, if you want to be the best problem solver, facilitator, or investigator, you need to know how to build the cause and effect chart. So let me stop here for a second. Is there any questions that we have that I can answer, please? I'm going to stop sharing to see if anyone typed anything in the chat session. Any question from anyone? Do we have any questions, Patricia or Wynn? Okay, here we go. How do you ensure that the data collected during a polar RCA process is accurate and unbiased? Um, you let the evidence determine that. You, as a facilitator, you're going to have to remember you're the facilitator. It doesn't mean you're a subject matter expert. It doesn't mean you know everything. It means you're going to lead the team. So if someone gives you a data, you go with it. Until you find the contradicting data, you don't know that. You don't know that. So you let, the, you let the data determine the value of the analysis. Even when someone said something, you take it. OK, oil is foaming. Monitor, the pumps are not being monitored. They're not being shut down. Put it there. If you do not find evidence for it, then something is not right. But if you find evidence for it, then, of course, it's valid. Um, and data, by the way, you collect data throughout the entire steps. You know, you, you have data in the beginning and the problem definition and the analysis and the solution. And data comes in photos, communications, emails, drawings, shipping notices. There's all of that. Uh, they're photos, computer printouts. These are all evidence. How do you determine which solution are most appropriate for addressing the underlying causes of an incident? Um, first of all, we only have causes. They're all causes. They're either action cause or condition cause. Later on, I'll tell you about root cause, but for now, they're just that. And then remember later on, when I talk about solutions, if a solution is effective, it needs to do what I just mentioned prior in my introduction. It must at a minimum eliminate the problem and not create another problem. And you, you can keep track of that in the software and decide which ones to implement. If you have competing solutions, let's say all of a sudden, no, this solution is better than that one. Well, okay, fine. You still put them in the software, but I'm gonna show you, you can do an assessment, solution assessment. 
and assess each solution against each other. Can you provide any tips or best practices for effectively implementing? Um, the most effective way is, is, is go through a pilot. Select at least one, two, or three people to go through the training, to go through the understanding uh, of it, and then come back and apply it to one incident. Just one painful incident that it keeps repeating, or you've tried in the past to eliminate it and you couldn't do it, do that. And we'll be more than, I'll be more than happy to even help you work on your first analysis. Because once you see how easy the process is, then you can easily say, okay, let's go ahead and, and get the entire organization to, to help, to help uh, do more of this. How do you incorporate the Apollo RCA methodology into an existing process improvement program? If your objective is corrective action, this is it. I mean, how do you come up with a corrective action? How do you know which cause is a root cause? Well, I mean, any corrective action, any process improvement, it requires corrective action, and this will help you do that. Second, if you use the software, the software comes with what we call an API, an automatic protocol interface, that allows it to communicate with as many softwares as possible. So we can, you can start the problem definition in your system of record, transfer that data here, do the analysis here, come up with corrective action, and then transfer them back to another system for you to, uh, to continue working on them. Can you discuss any challenges or limitation of using the Apollo RCA methodology in practice? Um, the challenge is you need to be unbiased. I mean, I mean, you have to come in with a new way of thinking, say, I'm ready to, to implement something different. If you come in, for example, I've been in many incidents where say, okay, we need to do the analysis. Let's go ahead and get started. You know, and right away, people jump into solution. Wait, 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 wait. First, tell me what happened. Then tell me the causes that led to the event. And then we come up with solutions. Solutions is step three, it's not step one. But people try to, of course, shortcut the system. And by you doing that, it, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Uh, the limitation is only if you choose to make it limited. Otherwise, I'm here to tell you it applies. I've seen it work. It's easy process. It's a new way of thinking. You know, just as I mentioned, you have to click on attend the meeting and the meeting had to exist for you to be here. Once you understand that simple concept, then you can start applying it to any incident that comes your way. Now, was there any other questions that came in? I see some in there. How do you become a certified facilitator? It's two steps. First, you have to attend the training uh, at a minimum of the two days training. Uh, and virtually it, it's about 12 to 16 hours, but it's very close to two days. You attend the training, and that training says you've, you, be, you, you just completed the course. It's a course completion certificate. Once you're done with that, you need to submit one RCA. Once you submit one RCA to us, and then we review it, and we make sure you, you obey the Apollo RCA principle causation, then you become what we call a certified facilitator. If you want to take it beyond that, there is an accredited facilitator and an accredited investigator. And I will provide all of these slides to, uh, to you guys if you choose to. I'll, I'll let uh, Wynn and, and Patricia decide how to distribute any of these in the video. Uh, but if you want to become a, uh, an accredited facilitator and an accredited investigator, the difference, one concentrates on the methodology, the other one concentrates on the soft skills. There is a quiz you have to take. Uh, there's 50 question quiz and 100 question quiz, and you have to submit to us analysis to perform. Can the contributors edit the diagram simultaneously? Yes, yes. Any person on the team, we can all log in at the same time and move causes, edit causes, and you could see it happening in front of you. Of course, there's a risk to that, right? Um, because uh, you don't want to undo what I did, but it is possible. If, if, if they're part of the team and you gave them uh, an edit mode, then you can. Otherwise, you can restrict it. You can also restrict it for no one to be able to, to, to do it until, unless you are the facilitator. All right. Um, is there? Okay, that's it. That's it. 
So let's proceed to the solution. Um, before I do that, I'm going to show you some cool features just briefly. Uh, people love this. It's visual. I love cause and effect chart in this format. Some people do not. That's okay. Um, Fadi, we still get to see your screen. You still cannot see my screen. See, I have to learn to share my screen or stop. Yeah. Or not stop sharing. How about now? Yep, we see it now. Pump okay. failed because of leaking oil. Perfect. So as you can see, this is the cause and effect chart that we built. However, some people like to see it in a tabular format. Watch. With a click of a button, I could change this to a tabular format. Okay, I can go and, and see the causes in a tabular format. Okay, I could see which ones have evidence on them, which one passed my integrity checks. Later on, I could see which one have solutions, but clearly I don't have any because I haven't done any solution. If you are in a risk assessment business, I can put a risk priority number on every cause. So I could start telling you which cause is more severe than the other if you choose to do that. Uh, with a click of a button, I can go to the solution. Oops, I don't have any, of course, because I'm not there yet. But I could do that with a click of a button. And one thing I want to show you with a click of a button, I could change this into a timeline. Okay, I already have the causes. Now I can come in and say, you know what? This cause started on, on January 17 and it failed on the 24th. You know, the hole in the steel, we really believe it occurred on the 18th. Um, that was very quick on, on that set. So I could start building a sequence of event if I choose to relative to my analysis. And if I don't, and if I don't have uh, uh, that, that specific event in here, it's okay. I just add it. Okay, uh, let's say uh, one of the event is oil. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, oil was being delivered. Okay, and then I say that happened on the 21st of January. Uh, that's when we ordered oil and, and, and it got delivered to us. And so, so I can do that as well. And once I'm done, I can start building my timeline in a, in a form of a, of a Gantt chart or a bar chart. Um, so that's what's so cool about this. And then, and to go back to the analysis, I just go back to the chart. And because I added a new cause oil being delivered, guess what? It also placed it here in the holding area. It said, just in case you want to use it somewhere else, it's available for you. Let's say we're done. Now I'm going to go to the solutions. Now I go to the solution. Here we go. Oh, there's nothing there. Good. So let's go ahead and start the solution process. It will go through every cause and it will allow you to brainstorm solution. Not pump, not being shut down. Naturally, you want to shut down the pumps after 15 hours of straight operation. Okay, I'm, I'm just making these solutions up, but they're very close to what should be happening. Next, pumps not being monitored, monitored across all three. This is a facility that runs uh, in, on uh, across all shifts, so we're going to find a way to, to monitor them across all three shifts. Remember, I am not going to implement them yet. I don't know which ones I'm going to implement. Right now, I'm just developing solution. I'm brainstorming solutions. Next cause, oil foaming, add anti-foaming agent to oil. Good. Um, next cause, oil getting hot, uh, develop oil, develop new oil that stands Temperature over, uh, I don't know, 300 degrees F. Again, that's what it is. It's fine. Next cause, seal ruptured, replace seal. All right, add solution. Next cause, shaft vibration. I really don't know what it is. You know, maybe I need to measure, measure vibration, measure vibe and determine next. As you could see, uh, I'm going systematically through every step, 
trying to ultimately come up with, you know, root causes and corrective actions. Oil leaking out of the fill pipe, uh, add cap to fill pipe to make sure it does not leak out of it anymore. Thanks, cause hole in the seal. Well, you already said we're gonna replace the seal. So let me link that to replace the seal. I don't have to repeat it again. Next cause, oil not contained. Place containment under uh, fill pipe. Right. I'm done. I'm done. So I've gone through every cause and I've developed a solution and the software even recognize that. The next thing is you open a solution step and you go through those questions that I've shared with you earlier in my introduction. So the cause is the pump not being shut down. We need to shut them down after 15 hours of straight operation. You go through these questions. Does this solution prevent reoccurrence? Yes, it does. Is it within my control? Yes, it is. Does it mean my goals and objective? Yes. Does it create a new problem? Mm, no. Good. So once it passes a solution, then I can implement it. And I want you to take a special attention to what's happening here. This cause, in this case, it's an action cause. I have a solution on it, and I went through the solution criteria. And once I decide to implement it, look how it's changing it to a root cause. Apollo RCA to the question that few of you asked, what is different between Apollo RCA and every methodology in the world? What we believe in, a root cause is any cause that we choose to take an effective solution on, it becomes a root cause. That is the, ultimately the biggest difference in our methodology versus anything else out there. Uh, let me show you what happens in the case where, let's say all of these I wanna do, it's effective, I can right away implement it. I can right away go ahead and pass them because I know I'm gonna implement it, turns that into a root cause. Let's go to this one. Let's say this is not an effective solution. Let's say, yes, it prevents the problem. However, it is not something I can do because you know, I, I, you know and it does not meet my goals and objective. Um, let's say all of that. However, I still wanna implement it. You know what? I, I st I'm gonna still gonna find a way to implement this. If you say implement, as you notice, this oil foaming stays the same. It does not change into a root cause because it is not an effective solution. It's only an effective solution if it meets these criteria, and it's only a root cause if it meets the effective solution criteria. And once you go through every solution, yes, I'm gonna implement, I, I could, I could just implement it without even checking these criteria, you know, or I can go ahead and pass them all at once and implement. Uh, and so let's say I'm done. Ideally, the next step, you're gonna assign owners and a due date. So as you see here below it, okay, uh, there's that. Of course, this there's nothing here because it's not implemented. So let me go to the solution I'm gonna implement. There we go. I can click assign an owner. It's gonna select it from the team you already have. Let me assign that for my, to myself. And the start date, finish date, and I can give it a due date. Say, let, let's give him a couple of weeks to, to complete this analysis. I go to the next one and I get to assign it to the next person. Uh, and again, I can, tell Jessica when I expect her to complete this analysis. Later on, if we have time, I can email these, okay? I can email these solutions to these team members if I choose to. Software allows you to do that. Uh, early on, I showed you with a click of a button, I can go to a tabular format. So if you wanna do all of this from one screen, you go to the solution here. Let me minimize this and you go through these tabs where you can evaluate them all at once. You can assign them all at once to somebody so you don't have to flip through it. Uh, and you can email them directly from here to, to anyone. 
When it comes to solution, you might have competing solution where maybe one solution might be better than the other. Well, to do that is you go through the solution assessment where you get to evaluate them against each other to see if there is a solution better than the other. And if it is, then you can implement it. So that's how you do that. Okay, this is another time to stop. Any questions so far, please? Any question do we have that either got submitted already or you would like to ask? Do we have any questions? Okay. Can the contributors edit the diagram? Uh, yes, we already answered that again. If you're a team member and you have access to my analysis, you can. How do you become a server? We talked about it. Does Apollo have user conference where users can share experience? We don't have it officially. We let our uh, partners do that, and that's what Eurodite is doing and, and Wins and Patricia is doing. Um, we do have a lot of videos. Uh, you can get hold of us. Uh, we could share with you who the other resellers are in Australia, in the United States, in England. Uh, they do a lot of that themselves, but we don't do it from a corporate headquarters. Something we want to do, but we just never gotten into it. Um, how do you measure the success of the Apollo RCA process? You know exactly the answer to that. And the answer is, if you have effective solutions to eliminate the problem, you're done. The goal is always the same. Every incident you encounter, it does not matter what it is, from employee injury to pump shutdown to loss of money, it doesn't matter what it is. The objective is always the same. What corrective actions do I need to take to prevent the problem from happening again? And if you come back with effective solutions to prevent the problem from happening again, you're done. You've accomplished your objective. How do you do it? That's what you're going to have to be good at. Uh, however, lessons learned based on the significance of the problem. I mean, I'll give you an example. One of the incidents that I facilitated, I cannot speak much to it, but I'll tell you what it is. You know, it dealt with a, an oil leak, a gas leak in the state of California that resulted in 8,000 families being evacuated. 8,000 families were evacuated. You better spend a lot of time on that to try to figure out exactly what happened because that was, that's, that, that's a very expensive issue that occurred, right? So, so based on the significance that you have, you will have to determine the type of analysis. And by the way, the cause and effect chart that we did for that analysis, okay, it was eight feet long, almost, you know, two and a half meters long, right, by three feet wide, by one meter wide. I mean, you could see it blastered all over the wall in, in small causes like that because we wanted to make sure we got it right. Okay, uh, let me go back to see if anyone typed any other question. All right, no questions. Again, uh, we're almost done and I will allow you to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to uh, ask the, more questions. Yes? The, there is one question from Marvin asking, can the system tell the most possible cause of the event if there was to be just one? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to be careful. We're not going to go into training, but I'll give you some answers to that. First of all, it is impossible to have a single root cause. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. You, you, you should always have two or more root causes, and there's a reason why there is. Second of all, we don't pick. We let the system determine which of these causes is a root cause. Just as I went through here, and I threw a solution here, and then I decided to implement it, then I determine that's a root cause. Let me ask the question in reverse. Shaft vibration is a root cause. Hey, look, everybody, shaft vibration is a root cause. But guess what? We're not going to do anything. Well, how could it be a root cause if you're not going to do anything? It cannot be a root cause. It's only a root cause if you choose to take a solution on it. And the way to do that is you go through every cause, you come up with possible solution, then you evaluate them against the criteria and the one they pass, you assign owners at a due date. And once you're done with that, naturally, um, you wanna finalize your report. And the great news about using Apollo RCA 
the report is already completed for you. Okay, the, the software already saved the problem definition. It saved who's performing it. It saved your team members. It saved all your corrective actions, your owners and a due date. The only thing it did not do is a summary. So you can type your own summary here. Okay, you can but type then, your own can summary. You, can you share your screen so we can see? I did not stop sharing this time. I made sure not, but maybe <laughs> it kicked me out. So when when I when we share the question from the chat. Ah. All right. So I'll go back and I'll repeat. Do you see my screen? Yeah, we see it now. I think from the reports. Uh, okay. So let me show you how I got there. So after you're done with the solution over here on the far left, there is RCA report. So as I finish talking, the good news is everything is being transferred to the art to the report. It brought with it the information, the owner, due date, all the team members, and the problem definition, what when where significant. It brought with it all the solutions, the owners, and the, the you know when they need to complete it by. And then a summary. You can either type a summary. You could type it. Just type it here or if you do not want to type it you can let the system generate it for you we can we can generate it you know what these are the uh, uh, these are the solution that that i want in my report and you click submit and it will generate it for you you know um, and that's pretty much it the next thing is you want to export it and you can export everything in the software everything we've done so far it's a data it's saved in a database at the same time you can export it to a tree format pdf excel or documents most likely you want the arca report and that and and the chart and let me bring everything with a chart let me fit it to one page let me say export down here on the right, it says pending export, pending export, pending export. It's done. I open it. I asked it to be in PDF, so it did do it in PDF. It's a nice tight report with all the information that I need, everything I've done, and then the chart with it. And if I zoom in, I'm gonna stop zooming here for a second. The graphics is really nice. Uh, the, the cause and effect chart graphics. Uh, and, and whatever you see, there's a light bulb there. That means there's a solution. Wherever you see a little time clock, it means that's part of your timeline. Wherever you see this check mark red, that means something is still not right there. You might want to go in and fix it. But at least everything got exported to uh, uh, PDF. If you don't want it in PDF, it's okay. You get to export it to a document and you can edit it, color code it, um, write a paper on it, do whatever you need to. So pretty much that's it uh, without, there's many other features in the software, by the way. Uh, I'm just covering uh, the four steps of Apollo are saying, what does it take to uh, to complete uh, your analysis. And, and lastly, let me go back home. As you could see, this became part of my database, pump failed because leaking oil. Uh, if you have permission to see it, the reason I say that, because there's a chance you're working on an RCA you do not want anyone else to see, then I could set permissions to stop, you know, to tell me who's gonna see it and who's not gonna see it. But if you can see it, then it's there for you. You can log in, open it, read it. You know, if you think you this is an art analysis, you can learn from it, but you're not the owner, then you can duplicate it. By you duplicating it, it becomes yours. And then you can work on it. Or I could transfer it to one of you guys. Or I want to take it with me because I'm flying to the middle of the desert to do another analysis. I could check it out, check it out of the system. Once I check it out of the system, I can also have with me RC Pro desktop, which is the same version. It's a little bit on the lower scale. It does not have everything in it, but it's the same look and feel. 
and I can perform the analysis in the desktop version. This is another RCA, but I can import it in here. And, and once I'm back from my trip and I want everyone else to see it, then I will go back to here and I will import it back in. Once I import it back in, then everybody can see the latest update uh, that, that I have on my analysis. All right, I want to uh, allow you to ask more questions. That's it for my side. Um, let me go back through the slides uh, one more thing. And again, I'll show you what's coming your way or I'll let uh, Patricia and Wins decide uh, to the question that one of you asked. Um, this is just a letter from us. Feel free to read it. This is the accreditation that I spoke about. OK, uh, if you want to become an investigator accredited or a facilitator accredited, this is the requirement uh, needed for you to, to do that. There's quizzes and there's actual analysis you have to submit back to us. And that is it for me. So let's push it back to you to ask questions, please. Please ask questions. Okay. All right. Um, uh, go ahead, Patty. Uh, yeah. So before we, uh, before I share with you the code for the ebook, are there any more questions for Sir Patty? From anyone? Yeah, they may turn on their microphone. Just uh, identify themselves. Yeah, either turn on your microphone or type it, please. Yeah. Oh, actually, you could. Yeah, if you could turn them on for them, that would be great. Just in case someone wants to speak. And by the way, that book is amazing. It's by our founder. You get to understand how he was able to develop this methodology, more application, more examples, a deeper look into the software as well. All right. Any uh, question or comment from anybody else? I'm not seeing anyone from the chat section. Um, well, in any case, if you do have any more questions, you can always email us and we can always relay the questions to um, Sir Fadi later on. Right, Sir Fadi? Yes, anytime, anytime. Um, you can email us at in, uh, info at erudite.com.ph and um, just to share with you how um, are you seeing my screen regarding the... Yeah, you see it. Okay, so um, to get the ebook, you have you first have to create an account, on reality charting account. I'll be sharing. Just hold on for a while. I'm sharing with you the link to create your account. Okay. Right there we go. So you can um, copy paste this link to your uh, URL, this URL link. Um, first, create your reality charting account, and then um, after you do, after you do, um, click the second link. So uh, you will be able to see um, this one, and um, all you have to do is click Add to Cart. After that, it will lead you here. And then you uh, you see this um, tag here with the coupon or gift card. Um, put there the code, which is um, capital erudite underscore 23 and apply. That's all you need to do and check out to get the free ebook. Okay. And if there are any more questions, again, you can always email us or message us on our um, socials. We have our Facebook and LinkedIn to um, Yeah, you can message us on Facebook or LinkedIn. And to um, review our webinars, our previous few webinars, you can check our YouTube channel. Okay, to know more about us, kindly visit our website. There you will see our upcoming events, um, what's in our training courses, our consulting services, and there's more on our technical resources can see more about uh, um, reality charting, RCA, and um, we can also check our 
bookstore, our online bookstore. Okay, so um, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that's on my side. So if there aren't any more questions, uh, Sir Wins, yes. May, just I just want to say the, thank you everyone for joining, and of course I would like to say thank you to Patty for uh, staying up a little late to raise us, uh, <laughs> you know, um, this expertise on uh, Apollo Lucas analysis. I hope everybody have um, that light bulb that there's another way to develop RCA. And if you are interested to explore more about the solutions, I would be more than happy to schedule a discovery meeting with you and, and see how uh, Apollo RCA and RC Pro software would be a good addition to your uh, quality improvement and to your incident investigation activities. So, um, thank you for organizing know. this. Thank you for organizing this. Don't worry about me. Uh, a little bit after nine o'clock for me. It's not that late. So thank you for everything. And please reach out to us. One last thing I leave you with and, and when and the team knows that, please make sure uh, it's an approved reseller by us. Uh, only certified instructors and only approved resellers can sell our product and services. So please make sure you get the appropriate training from the right people. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. So uh, I will, we will catch up with you, all the participants to give you the links uh, to your email as well as to the link on the recording of this webinar. And this is just one uh, of the many webinars that we'll be going through. As uh, asked a while ago, uh, uh, if there's like a conference or a share best practices, that's the thing that I would like to kickstart in the Philippines uh, is to uh, nurture these effective problem solving techniques and hopefully uh, you can join us. So thank you very much. I know it's still a, a long day for some of you, but thank you very much, Patty, and thank you everyone. Please stay safe and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Good day, yeah. guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.